Hi class, we're at week six, two more weeks to go. Again, if you have questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you. Um, we are talking about um, George Kelly today, the personal construct theory. Um, he too was from the US. We've, the last few theorists we've talked about have been. Um, he passed away in 1967. Parents were fundamentalists. He was an only child and adopted an intellectual attitude in the counseling process and major force in clinical psychology. Personal construct theory, this is his theory. Construct, intellectual hypothesis we use to interpret life events, so how we look at things. Bipolar in nature, so it changes. The construct alternative, alternativism, we are free to revise or replace our constructs as, we, as needed. So we can change things. Ways of anticipating life events, fundamental postulate. Psychological processes are directed by how we anticipate events. So again, how we see things coming, like um, our expectations, how we've experienced life. Um, that might be how we interpret something based through that lens. We use constructs to predict the future, which we, I think, we all, to some degree, will use our life experiences as a way of determining what we think is going to happen next, which, granted, that may not be right. There was 11 um, different ways he saw that we could be anticipating things. So construction, individuality, organization, dichotomy, choice, range, experience, modulation, fragmentation, commonality, and sociality. So... I'm not going to go over each one of those for time's sake, but um, your text will. So these are the 11 different ways he saw that you could be anticipating life events. He, his assessment was pretty personal. He interviewed self-characterization sketches, role con construct repertory tests, so constructs, constructs we applied to important people in our lives and fixed role therapy client acts out constructs of a fictitious person. So how do they think this person would behave or act or things of that nature? His research was in within the RDP studies, rep studies, cognitive complexity, ability to perceive differences and cognitive simplicity and ability to perceive differences. So what those two different forces look like in people. And his contributions were unique theory a very personal view and broad support in Europe, Canada, and Asia. His um, criticisms were that the theory focused too much on the intellectual and rational and left out emotion, which emotion is a big part of our psychological um, well-being, um, based on Midwestern young adults, so maybe the scope or was too small, leaves many unanswered questions and too different from prevailing ideas. His writing is too scholarly, so maybe above people's intellectual abilities or easy, too hard for others to understand. Um, so this is brief, but I hope you're able, This there's just this one chapter this week. Um, I hope you're able to get into the 11 um, different colorieries um, and see how each one of them anticipates life events differently. Um, and again, if you have any questions, please let me know. We just have two weeks left. So I hope this is helpful for you. Um, and I, we, I will see you again week seven. Thank you.